We weren't even really able to break them down flat. We got our legs in, but we weren't able to get our break down. So, legs in here. Bottom guy's tough. He's got a wide base. I can't quite get him to go. He's reacting to everything I'm doing, shifting his weight. So from here, I'm not able to break him flat. But I still need to be able to turn him from here. I'm still in the advantage position. So I don't want to give this up just because I can't break him flat. What we're going to do is we're going to work our half tilt that we just did, that same exact move from this position. Now, one of the things that's nice about doing this from a base is uh, look at all this space here. It's going to be very, very difficult for him to stop that half from coming in. So all we're going to do is go ahead and lock it up. You don't even really need a setup. Just wait till he's got a little bit of weight on this side here and he won't be able to do anything about you slipping this in. Once you've slipped this half in, in that same exact half position we've been using this whole time, we're going to step up high with this outside leg. Now, I, normally I go over this every time we do this move. I forgot to this last time, but usually I get some questions about, you know, what if the bottom wrestler grabs this foot when we're stepping up? It's not anything that you need to worry about. If we're in this position here, we've got this all locked up, and then he grabs my foot. Basically, he just got rid of a post for him to use to de defend himself with, and I'm just gonna turn over and finish that half. But from here, if he doesn't grab my leg, we'll just finish this move like normal, elevate, get that chest high. From here, we just drive over the shoulder off that post, and we're gonna elevate this back leg here, or go heel toe. Some people, I noticed a couple of you out there struggling to keep your leg in when you were coming back up for the Turk. Come back to heel toe. Either way, however you finish it, whether you finish heel toe or if you finish with this elevated here, before you come back for that six point near fall, come back to heel toe here so that that locks your leg in place at least until you're comfortable with it. You can do it uh, without really having to think about it too much. But I've seen that leg slip out a couple times from some of these groups. So make sure you come back to heel toe. And then that way, once we come back up to the six point near fall, my leg's already locked in place. Watch what he does with this arm. Some of you folks are keeping this arm underneath and getting it stuck underneath when you try to turn for the six point near fall. He's just using that to hook and pull himself up. But once he gets back up on top, that arm is flailing out to be a post for the Turk. This other bottom hand is gonna to come to my face. Watch real quick what Dom's gonna do. As I belly out and fight hard, that's gonna get out of the way before he goes to turn. See how he took it out and posted it in front of where he wanted to go and then caught my face with the other hand. A lot of folks, I mean, yeah. A lot of folks are getting that arm stuck on there, and then they're falling down to the side and can't, can't keep their knee wide for the turf like we want. We don't want that. It's all because this hand is getting stuck, right? So as you're here, power half, and, and you're using that as a hook when I try to belly out to pull yourself back to my top, right about now it has to get out of there. See how he freed it and got it out of the way? Now he pops the hip, and I roll freely. Nothing in the way, nothing trapping, um, nothing pulling him down underneath. So as he releases me to let to score the three that's already been counted, he's catching that just as a hook, using it to pull him back up on top. Once he gets on top, he's getting it out of the way and taking the face for the turn. All right, so just try not to get your other arm caught underneath. That's tripping up a handful of people on this half of the room at least, maybe 